What are we doing first here? We're going to do the complaint? Time for the complaint. Todd never complains, right? Right. Right. That's why we always give him a couple of minutes to complain about something. You're quasi-evil. You're semi-evil. You're the margarine of evil. You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie, not evil enough. Hey, look, he can't always be happy. It's time for Todd's Daily Complaint. <laughs> why do you start smiling immediately? Because I just think it's funny that you, I, I think every time you do this, that you, you look at me, I like the awkward pause. I think I just like the awkward part. You look at me like, you think I'm going to throw it to you? And I'm like, no, <laughs> just go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Once that horn sounds, this music starts, the floor is yours. As a kid growing up, as I'm sure you can probably tell, I was definitely into sports fashion. I love uniforms. Okay. I think, uh, oh, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you were anti the Oregon uniform. Yeah, I was anti the Oregon uniform. I think things need to look, well, for lack of a better word, uniform. One of the cool idiosyncrasies, if you will, of sports fashion are the helmet stickers. As a kid, and I'm sure you were the same way, Zach, nothing cooler than watching Ohio State with the Buckeye stickers. The Knowles. Yeah, Florida State, exactly, with the Tomahawks. Uh, I actually was lucky enough to play a year of college football, and the school I played at, we were the Braves, and we had Tomahawk helmet stickers. Mm -hmm. Thought it was the coolest thing ever. Why? Well, that just that cool. totally flies in the face of your uniformity thing. I know. That's one of the few things I like. It's because you reward somebody, and you can see, hey, that guy's a good player. He's got a bunch of helmet stickers. I think that's cool. Well, I didn't play much my freshman year in college, <laughs> so I got, like, two helmet stickers. Apparently, at Ohio State, they're handing out helmet stickers for showing up for the game. Everybody's helmet is chock full of these Buckeye helmet stickers. Didn't you used to have to earn those? Well, you don't know. Didn't you used to get a helmet sticker for a touchdown? No. What is it now? Oh, you didn't miss your block? Here's a helmet sticker? No, 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 no. no. What'd you're, you have for breakfast? Doing, Cereal? Doing, doing, Boom, th- helmet sticker. You're doing things during practice. No. See, yeah. that's so weak. Why? Those helmet stickers should not be covering the whole helmet. That's the point of them. If everyone has them all over the helmet, you know what this is, Zach? This is our country again. Don't tell anybody they're doing a bad job, but just, oh, you guys are doing such a good job. Here's a helmet sticker for this, a helmet sticker for that. No. Those helmet stickers, you have to hold on to those and give them away for when someone does something that's exceptional, not something that's normal. I think you are doing a lot of assuming. Maybe the reason that this team was a national championship team is because they were doing exceptional things almost ad nauseum. I think you, and this is typical of you, just, you know, just complain just to complain. I think you are um, jumping to a conclusion that stickers are just given out for everything. Maybe they're not. They are, because maybe, everyone's got their helmet full of them. Maybe they're given out just as scarcely you know as who they've should always have their helmet been, full? but they're just awesome. You know who should have their helmet full of helmet stickers? Archie Griffin would be one good example. God. I don't know. I mean, Troy Smith, maybe. He how, won a Heisman. How far are you going back? Uh-huh, yeah. Maurice Claret, the year they won the national I championship. I don't think Cardell Jones' helmet was chock His was full. half full, and he's played three games. I don't think three so. Three games, and he's got half his helmet covered in stickers. I don't recall No that. one even knew who he was before last night. I don't recall. Again, practice. They're giving these things away like... Dean's giving away stories, just right and left. <laughs> hey. Although, helmet sticker to Dean. Dead on Dean was dead on the Lincoln Riley deal. You get a Buckeye. And you know what? If you were wrong, you probably would have got one too because apparently they're just handing them out to everybody now. Buckeyes everywhere. None of them had room anymore. They probably were out of room in week five. Where are you going to put them inside your helmet now? On your shoes? 
<laughs> All Americans should have full helmets, full of helmet stickers. Uh, the other guys, half full, a third full, a quarter full. Shouldn't be a whole team with Buckeyes covering all their helmets. It's a joke. A helmet sticker to Dean Blevins. All right. That'll do it for Todd's Daily Complaint on a Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> dead on Dean. <laughs> he was he was dead on. Again, I have to give I mean you obviously are still joking about this. I'm not I called him dead on Dean. I gave him a nickname because he was so dead on. How can I be joking about it? He was dead on. He absolutely was dead on. I thought your tongue was planted firmly in your cheek. If that was the case, it would have been dead on Dean. <laughs> But <laughs> my tongue was not in my cheek, obviously. Uh, you are having yourself a fine show today, sir.